Do you want to create high quality content for your team quickly? Have a game today, tomorrow, and need to put something together that looks nice, but doesn't take all day? Well, head over to Photoshop and follow along with me as we recreate this UNC game day template. So let's get into it. Here is our reference image. You can see we've got the North Carolina game day post from today, um, game 14. Main thing is going to be finding a good quality picture of a player that we want to uh, highlight and focus on in this. And we want to work to achieve that um, magazine header style text that is behind the player. Um, for that, for them, they, they number the games, game 14. I'll probably keep this generic and just do game day. But main thing is going to be finding a good picture. Okay, so when we're looking for a picture to use in this, uh, Notice how theirs doesn't have a lot of distractions. It's just the player, and then you can see the arena and the crowd in the background. Um, the photos that are going to work best are going to be the ones that do not have a lot of noise and extra um, distraction and other things going on in them, similar to this one. Okay, So for the tutorial, I found um, this photo from Villanova's game against UConn. I'm going to use this and make this like a Villanova game day post. Let's go ahead and add our game day text. All right, they have game 14. We're just going to do game day. Let's put it there. All right, we'll do game day. Um, that font looks pretty good. Tungsten looks pretty good for this. You want a, a taller, bolder font, I think, for something like this. You really want it to stand out. And I'm going to make it big. Okay. A couple things about this that I like is the pose, the floor. I've got to figure out the positioning of this because you don't want the player to completely cover up the game day text where you can't see it at all. So let me go ahead and cut my image out. you'll see down here at my layers they look like this we have our player we have our game day text we have our full photo our player is now on top of our text and we are halfway there with the effect that we're looking for okay so what's next now I have to finish figure out the positioning that I want my player to be to have um, I think I want to shrink them a little bit I want to come here and I want to get something like this because I don't want his head and body to cover all of the game day text to where it's so hard to read. And I also want um, him to be kind of off centered a little bit to the right of the screen so that we can put our game information here. So right about there looks pretty good to me. And we'll roll with that for now. I know what you're thinking. You're like, B.A., how come our photo is right here? What do we do to fix that? All right. That's another trick. So let's come down here to layer one. It's a smart object. Let's double click it and open it up. Now we are in there and we're going to get back into our content aware tricks. Um, come to layer one. We're going to go to crop. Content aware needs to be checked on. Now we're on crop layer one. And we're just going to pull up and make some more room and click OK. Now let Photoshop do the work for us and it is going to take our image and create its own little background and you can see definitely not perfect but let's go ahead and close it out and see how it looks on our canvas. And I think that works. So what's next? Alright they have a lot of black behind um, the top text and I think that's going to help give it some detail and draw our attention towards the player and towards the game day text. So let's do that by coming over here to the paint bucket tool, right click, change to gradient. All right, right now it's set on white. I want that to be black. I'm going to push the X to switch my color. So I have black and I have my black to transparent gradient on 100 opacity. That'll work. Okay. New layer, put your layer under the game day text but over your background image and pull down pull down all right that that's a little harsh for what i was wanting i'm going to mess with the fill over here 
and get something like that. So I still want to see the image behind. Still, still want to see the background. But I do want to fade it out a little bit. Now let's add some of this detail text, the game information, all of that that they have. I'm kind of feeling for this. So let's go. Go to basketball. Let's lower that font significantly. Um, you didn't know all the font options up here. Um, so on theirs, they added this shadow behind the player and on the game day text, which I think looks nice. Uh, gives it more depth, more 3D look. So let's do the same thing here. I do that with a soft black brush. Let's go to 100. Let's make a new layer above our white game day text and then get a black brush from up top. Okay. Yeah, something about the size of his head or a little bit bigger is fine. Um, opacity I put up and I'm gonna move the flow down to around 15 or so. And you can see it's gonna just gently add that black behind them and just do that, that's personal preference, get it however you like it. But something like that looks pretty good. And it just makes him, it looks like the old Sports Illustrated magazines, really. Um, so now that we have that done, I'm going to clip it to my game day text. You do that by Control-Alt-G. Now the shadow is only showing up in the game day text. And they also have on theirs, they have this, um, light in the top corner. Um, I'm going to add something similar, but probably a little bit different. Let's look in and see what we have. Um, last thing I want to do is just add some finishing touches. I'm going to go ahead and add a couple effects on the player using camera raw. All right, there we have it. I've added some camera raw to my player. Um, it's mostly just uh, some texture and clarity with a little bit of contrast. Um, I would say on this kind of style, don't go, don't veer too far off from um, your background image. You don't want them to look like two completely separate photos, but um, that contrast does help it pop off the page a little bit more. And then personal preference, I just added some noise on this background before or after. I added some noise just because I like the effect it gave. I like the look of it. And then last thing I'm going to do is um, add a lighting source. So we added this light to the top corner. We've already added our lighting source. I'm going to have that light coming down and um, make it kind of look dramatic on the player. I'm going to do that by coming to my player. Um, come down here, new adjustment layer. I like to use exposure. Turn the exposure up. Come down here and hit control I on this white square, turns it black. Hit it again, control I is the invert button. Okay, so now I'm gonna get my white brush and wherever I paint, it's gonna bring light back from there. So I'm going to get my brush flow on around 20, zoom in and just paint the spots that I wanna bring light back. Okay, I added some highlights. Now I want to make some shadows. I'm going to do the same thing, creating another exposure layer, but this time I'm going to lower the gamma correction. I mean, raise the gamma correction, and you can see um, kind of the look it gives. I'm going to hit Control I, invert it, and now just paint. Paint in the areas I want to stand out. Okay, I think that looks pretty good. That's kind of the effect I was looking for. If we take it off, you can see um, I didn't go crazy with it, but it definitely adds a little more contrast, a little more pop. The highlights are brighter and the shadows are darker. Um, so let's add our finishing touches and we will be done. So let's go to image, apply image. Okay, 
settings should stay the same. So all that does is everything that we just made is now on one layer. Our final image is right here. Um, I like to finish all my graphics by going to filter camera, camera raw on that applied image and just tweaking with these settings and see what we come up with. You don't want to go overboard with it because you definitely can, but play with these settings, get something you like. All right, I went in camera raw, added a couple settings, put the fill on 20, and that is our finished product. I hope this video served you well. I hope you were able to learn a couple things and create a nice graphic along the way that you could use for your team. Um, if you like this and you want to create some more graphics for your team, um, check out the channel. We have more UNC game day rec uh, template recreations as well as other tutorials that will help you. Um, for links for the brushes and fonts used in the video, check the description below. Also down below, I have links to my website, social medias, and Patreon. If you want to message me, feel free. Um, so please check those out. Till next time.